Nestled high in the Canadian Rockies, Jasper National Park, which has long drawn summer visitors to the high country, has now stretched the fun to last all year. Jasper is fast becoming one of Canada's great winter fun centers. Ski lovers from all over the continent, experts and novices, young and old, are discovering the slopes this beautiful resort has to offer. Most popular is the newly developed Marmot Basin. Here, the T-bar whisks you up 3,000 feet and leaves you to find your own way down. But first, there's a pause to wax the skis and perhaps even a moment for a memorable snapshot. And then, the only place to go is down. But there are several routes for doing it. Novice, intermediate, or expert, depending on your personal choice of thrills. You can count on perfect snow conditions December to May a choice of deep powder or packed snow. There are no age limits for skiing fun at Jasper. In fact, the younger you start, the sooner you'll be taking all the excitement in your stride. The only way to learn is by doing. With a sympathetic instructor, it really doesn't take long to learn the difference between a snowplow and a Christie. What does the occasional sits mark matter in the soft powder snow? Almost before you realize it, you are a veteran shush boomer. Of course, there are those who claim you don't even need skis. Any old shovel will do. But it is not accepted in the best circles. The best circles need no second call to come and get it. The morning's exercise, the clear, bracing air, and the warm sunshine all make picnicking a mile in the sky one of the highlights of Jasper skiing. Another highlight is the after-lunch siesta, offering even the most energetic skier the quiet pleasure of 40 winks. But keeping one eye open has its advantages. Siesta time on a mountaintop is truly a heavenly interlude. That is, before the excitement starts all over again. For the experts, that means the breathtaking run from the top of Marmot Mountain at 8,500 feet down to the floor of the sheltered basin. Even those newfangled mechanical speed demons can't begin to match the blood-tingling speed and agility of champion skiers. One of the nicest things about skiing comes after the skiing is all over. That is the time when good friends get together in the chalet. It's nice to sit toasting before the crackling fire and relive the day's adventures on the slopes. Of course, there's always some enthusiast still out on the mountainside racing the 